So when I was growing up, a lot of people told me that I was good at some things, and I guess like when I thought about that, I thought, you know, I'm good at reading and writing, but I'm not good at math, and that's something that I kind of internalized growing up. And so I started to just like have major problems with math. Um, I like didn't really understand some concepts, and uh, I would go home, and my family couldn't really help me because they also like didn't understand the math. And so I had to like take, do that on my own. And the answers and questions were confusing, so I would go in the next day, ask questions, but then that put me behind on schoolwork. Um, and so it was just kind of like the cycle of me just like falling behind with this math. And um, you know, it just like, I didn't really like that being left behind. I didn't like that feeling. Um, and so I tried to take it upon myself to find resources. Um, my mother couldn't afford a tutor. Um, based off of like our background. So we looked into like a community college course over the summer and I did that, um, which is kind of like introduction to math and things like that um, and six, and completed that. And then the following summer I worked, I like studied at this like local high school that's like really rigorous. It's known for its like reputation for that. Um, and so that was like a little bit more difficult, but just like through paying attention and just like trying my best to like really understand the material, I was able to pass the class uh, with a passing grade. Um, and then my eighth grade year, we were doing like pre-algebra, like in the classroom, but then my teacher wanted us to be prepared for high school level math. So he was teaching algebra before school started. So I like decided that that was something I wanted to do to improve my math skills. So I woke up earlier than uh, most other students uh, to participate in this like math class that didn't count for credit, it was just for us to like learn those skills necessary. Um, and so through that, I learned a lot as well. And then going into high school, I kind of took that and really applied myself in math and was able to su see myself succeed. Um, and my teacher actually recommended me for a national mathematics award, uh, which I applied for and ended up actually getting, um, which like really reinforced like that math was something that I could do, and it's not something that. It's not a possibility for me, um, so that like that I really appreciated that that like she believed in me, whereas like I didn't believe in myself in that time, and uh, yeah, that award really meant a lot to me. Um, and so there were other like three other students in my class that were in geometry that same year, where everyone else, including myself, were, was in algebra one, and so we had to just I wanted to like catch up to them, so I decided to take geometry over the summer at a community college, and uh, end up ended up uh, going to Algebra 2 my sophomore year, so meeting, being at the same level with them, and then I was able to take Calculus my senior year, which is the highest level of math offered at my school. Um, so I've really come a long way with like my math education, and I'm really appreciative for the people who have believed in me and supported me, um, because they really reinforced this like idea that I could do it, and I kind of internalized that, and started believing that I could do it as well.